Hey, good afternoon, Chris. We're in front of 30631 uh, Coral Bean. So this is in the uh, Stone Gate. This is just to the north of Paul's house. So we've got the uh, uh, setting sun behind me, so we got a lot of shadows here. Sorry. So you got some wood uh, shutters on the way in. You have the nice. Uh, you got tile. They did do the uh, mosaic inlay in the uh, tile on the way in. You've got uh, granite and the uh, travertine backsplash with the stainless appliances and like we said you know wood shutters here so this is exactly Paul's model so we don't need to spend a whole lot of time as far as the layout uh, you got ceiling fans in all rooms you got the neutral paint you know uh, newer carpet it seems like maybe brand new but you do have uh, wood blinds in all the rooms you've got the ceiling fans everywhere Here's secondary bath, the third bedroom, the garage. Just like Paul's, you've got the washer dryer hookups in the garage, roll up door with the opener, and kind of a painted floor, not quite epoxy coat, but painted uh, floor in the uh, garage. So uh, it is nice, you know, two tone paint with the uh, baseboards. Uh, here's your view outside, here's the master. Uh, just like Paul's, you got the walk in closet. You got another mosaic in the tile down there, uh, single sink, and then the uh, tub shower combo. So, uh, I mean, the main concern for you guys would be outside. So, you have the built in patio cover, you got the ceiling fan up here. As you're overlooking, you're overlooking the uh, first tees. So, I don't know if you played Johnson Ranch while you guys were here, but you do have the uh, lake right back out here. So, uh, almost a little duck pond. Uh, just right back out here. Uh, the black tees would be way back to our left and the front tees would be right there in front of us. And then you've got fairway right back there. So we have a little wash here so the, the uh, cart path would be far enough back over there. You're not going to have everybody just right behind you, you know, which does give you the privacy. So you do have the privacy back here but you do have you know, a golf course view where you've got the greens. So anybody playing on the front tees is not going to be any concern, but uh, you can see if they were teeing off back from the blacks further back, this is a little bit of slice range. If I look at the back of the house, I can see one or two little divots up there on the wall to where maybe golf balls have hit. So I wouldn't say this is totally, totally secluded from golf balls, but uh, as far as greenery and everything, it is a pretty good lot. You do have some privacy here. Uh, the fair, open fairways back over there, well within view, and you are going to have that pond right there. This is facing due east, so you will get the uh, morning sun. You'll, you know, you can see some ducks out there. So with the migration, you'll definitely see some water foliage and stuff out there at the lake. So uh, everybody playing off the short tees would not be a concern, but anybody hitting the long balls. There is a slight concern for it. The house doesn't look too beat up. Compared to like the Shannon golf ball property and stuff, this really doesn't have too many golf ball holes compared to some. But uh, that's it for now. We'll get it sent out to you and take a look.